Hi guys, I'm Sir Classy, and you're welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clean up a vocal so you can start mixing. Now, it's very common to have some noise, some background noise in the vocals, and have some breathing problems in the track. Some tracks even have some homes, maybe because of um, the, you didn't connect the mic cable properly, or you have very cheap mic cable, or even the microphone itself has a problem and it has home in it so there are ways to get rid of those things without um, ruining the vocal and to still have it sounding um, natural and clean and clear so i recommend using the isotope rx suit it's a audio restoration suit so it takes care of everything and you have a clean clear vocal or instrument back after um, using it but there are other plugins you can use from waves Waves has theirs and there are many other manufacturers and plugin developers that have special restoration plugins for vocals and audio and digital recording. So without wasting any more time, let's start with this vocal. Let's hear the vocal sound before I start loading up um, plugins. Ain't nobody bother, ain't nobody bother, ain't nobody bother. Who oh, them other niggas, who oh, them other niggas, who oh, them other niggas. Ain't nobody. So if you can hear this vocal, you can hear some background noise. And you can hear breathing, um, like it's breathing too heavy on the track. So that's the major problem for this um recording. There's no home. There's really no home in this track. So we'll be using a dehomer or a home removal plugin. So first of all, we start with the noise. We take out the noise in the RX breath control. Sorry, pardon me. We turn that off. Always take out the noise before you take out the breath. Vo voice the noise. So let's listen. Always make sure it's on adaptive mode. It automatically sets the threshold and this is the best setting. The, the adaptive mode is the best setting for the RX7 voice the noise. Nickers, who them are nickers, who them are nickers. Ain't nobody bother, ain't nobody bother, ain't nobody bother. So let me turn it off and you see the difference. Nickers, who them are nickers, who them are nickers. Turn it back on. You can see the difference already. So, if it's sounding too, if I was to take this trash all the way up here to sound now, it may sound kind of muffled and unnatural, so you have to be careful with the threshold. So, let's listen to it now that I've reduced the threshold. But you have to be careful how you replay with, treasure, with the threshold because the threshold is the level where the plugin starts working. So if it's too low, it won't have much effect. So it's best to just leave it at, let's say, zero. Let's see how zero looks like. Yeah, zero. Just leave it at zero. Then the reduction is how much noise you want to reduce. You want to reduce a lot. We don't reduce just a little. Let's take it all the way up and see. Or just or very little. So I think it's better when it's at the initial setting. Most times I stick to the initial settings. It just works out fine. It automatically reads the threshold. It automatically knows what to reduce. So I always trust the plugin. At adaptive mode and it works fine so i think this is just fine for noise so next is the breath control so we turn it on in the chain always have your breath control after your voice the noise so let's turn on breath control and see so we're listening ain't nobody bother you can see here the breath in there. So what you do is the target level, take it all the way down for a start. Let's say at 85 and see how it sounds. Nickers, who them are the nickers, who them are the nickers. 
Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Who them other niggas, who them other niggas, who them other niggas. Ain't nobody better, ain't no- you, can, you can see when it works, it, it like it clamps down. But I think that was too much. So let's take it to let's say 53. Because I don't want the breath to go out totally. I just want it to be reduced. Because if you take the breath out completely, it might make the vocal sound unnatural. So I just want to reduce the vocal like by a lot but not take it out completely so let's leave it here and see niggas who them other niggas who them other niggas ain't nobody better ain't nobody better ain't nobody better who them other niggas who them other niggas who them other niggas ain't nobody I, better I, I think this is perfect i think this is fine so let's hear it without the plugging Niggas, who them other niggas, who them other niggas? Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Who them other niggas, who them other niggas, who them other niggas? Ain't no so, yeah, so that's pretty much it for breast control. Um, as you may to have home, I can use a the Homer. Is the home and it, and it takes care of it. One thing I love about the RX7 suit it has adaptive mode, and with adaptive mode, it automatically analyzes the audio and then knows the best setting for it. So you don't have to worry yourself with the settings here. But I do not need a the home, so I'll just take it off. And also, assuming you recorded in a, a room that has some form of reverb. You have a diverb which takes out the reverb in the audio, like the ambience. So let's see how it sounds. Although there's no much ambience in the recording I, I made here, in the recording I have in this um session, but let's see how it sounds. Niggas, who them other niggas, who them other niggas? Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Who them other niggas, who them other niggas, who them other niggas? Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Niggas, who them other niggas, who them other niggas. So I don't really. Niggas, who them other. So I don't really need this plugin because the vocal is dry already, so it's making it even sound a bit worse. So, but if you were to have re um lots of ambience in your vocal, maybe recorded in a in your bedroom and it's not well treated, you can use this diverb and it takes out some of the reverb for you. But always make sure it's light. You don't need to go out of your way. So it won't make your vocal sound more food. Just light um, reduction and you'll be fine. You can also adjust the tail length to tell. If, if the echo in your room is a lot, you can reduce the tail. You can tell the vocal, the plugin, that this this is how long the um, reverb lasted in the vocal or the echo lasted in the vocal. And it works with that. But typically, you just use the learn feature and it learns everything about the audio and automatically sets it to the best um, um, feature for you already. So that's why I use I use the learn feature always. I really like Isotope, the entire ecosystem of Isotope because their, their plugins are so smart. Like their, their presets and their learn feature and suggestion features, to me, always hit, always almost gets it home for me. So I have to do just very little adjustments after using the learn. Or the suggestion feature in their plugins so big up to isotope for that for having one of the most intelligent music um, um production softwares right now so that's it for the verb i don't need the verb i'm just showing you what you can do with the suits another thing again i can have is if i have some mouse clicks Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Who them mother niggas, who them mother niggas, who them mother niggas. Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody. So the mouth clicks is just something like, like those kind of sounds I made with my mouth just now. That is what it means by mouth click. So um, it just takes it out for you and makes your vocal even better, sound cleaner. And another thing again I like to use is the S. The, the S sub plugin is... It's very good because it's transparent and it takes care of the S's. But this vocal does not have much S's in it. It's almost so, but we'll just have it in there and see how it works. Niggas, who them other niggas, who them other niggas? Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Who them other niggas, who them other niggas, who them other niggas? Ain't nobody better, ain
Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. You can see it's chopping off the um the high frequent the high frequency of this recording. So what I can just do is that I can reduce the threshold and see. Nickers, who they more than Nickers, who they more than Nickers. Ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better, ain't nobody better. Who the mother niggas, who the mother niggas, who the mother niggas. So ain't yeah, no so yeah, that's just it for the DS and there's a whole lot more. There's the click, the clipper, the crackle. There's a whole lot you can do with the RX-7 suit. So I recommend it to any producer that is looking to clean or a mixing engine you're looking to clean vocals or recordings up before you start mixing because if you don't clean up vocals before you start mixing you can mess up the balance of the mix and you can make your mix sound a whole lot more mature so when you clean it up and the vocal sounds clean and ready to go you even love and appreciate your mix more so yeah that's it for this tutorial and i'll see you on the next tutorial please subscribe share comment and let me know what you learn from this tutorial and if you have a better um suits that are using for cleaning up your vocals aside from the rx series let me know cheers